Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on WYLN News. I'm Gary Perna. The Tamaqua Area School Board finalized their decision to allow teachers and staff throughout the district to carry last month. Today, WYLN's Julia Wiegand spoke with some school board members. The Tamaqua Area School Board's new policy to allow teachers and staff to be armed had been in the works for years after Sandy Hook, according to Board President Larry Wittig. The specific policy was turned over to the district safety committee for all the legwork last fall, but really started to take shape February of this year. Discussions at Tuesday's meeting focused more on the decision of an additional yearly $2,000 stipend and some life insurance associated with it. What it means for the school district, it gives us the ability to deter and to uh, defend the big one the catastrophic loss of life through a mass shooting. We certainly will attempt to head off any you know, psychological problems in the student body. That's a whole separate issue, having single isolated incidents. This is designed to again deter and defend against something like a Sandy Hook or something like a Columbine or Florida. And that's what I believe is the best way to do this. Wittig said that all other suggestions thus far have beat around the bush and will have done nothing for the school district to save lives in a situation like that. The details are designed to be vague. The policy allows the district to pursue various um, avenues. It allows the district to do this. So the policy itself doesn't prescribe certain things. It just gives parameters of what can occur and what can happen within the policy. Those various avenues range from a district-issued firearm to an individual firearm. Teachers and staff who volunteer to carry will have to undergo situational training throughout the year, specifically geared towards which school building throughout the district they're located in. Tamaqua area students were both for and against the board's decision. Ninth grader Deanna Kowalski believes it makes the students feel safer than they did before. And it's been a very big goal for our school to keep ch children and students and faculty safe. So I think arming the teachers, certain of them, would be a great idea. It would help us concentrate more and it would make the school be a lot more successful. Seventh grader Sean Moore, however, sees the idea from both sides of the spectrum. Certain teachers, they, like I said, they don't really work well with that stuff, but there's also the fact that certain teachers do need to be able to have a way to arm themselves just in case something happens and they can protect at least students and stuff. Names of teachers and staff who end up volunteering to carry a firearm will remain anonymous. Reporting from Tamaqua for WILN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. A Mahanoy City man found himself behind bars after allegedly assaulting a police officer. 22-year-old Isaiah Marquez Alvarez called police Wednesday shortly after 8 a.m. to conduct a welfare check on a woman at his home on Center Street. Alvarez called police a second time and told them that he had an active warrant out for his arrest. When Mahanoy City Police Corporal Charles Kolenik arrived, he tried to handcuff Alvarez. A struggle ensued. And that's when he punched the officer in the left side of the face. State police arrived to help Kolonix take the man into custody. He was charged with assaulting a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest. He was taken to the Schuylkill County Prison for lack of $50,000 straight cash bail. A McAdoo man faces charges after he admitted to using drugs before driving. Police responded to a report of a suspicious vehicle on August 16th. They stopped the vehicle being driven by 41-year-old Jonathan Burgett on West Blaine Street. Authorities found suspected heroin and fentanyl along with binoculars and a flashlight inside the vehicle. He admitted to using drugs a few hours earlier and tested positive for meth, cocaine and fentanyl. He was charged with driving under the influence and possession of a controlled substance in Schuylkill County. This afternoon, the United States Attorney's Office for the Middle District of Pennsylvania announced that a 27-year-old man from West Hazleton, Michael Pornova, 
has pled guilty to receiving child pornography charges before U.S. District Judge James Munley. Portnova admitted to using his cell phone to receive messages and videos of child pornography using a file sharing network on the internet. Portnova committed the offense between August 2017 and October 30th, 2017 in Luzerne County. Portnova was indicted on a federal grand jury in January 2018 as a result of an investigation conducted by the Homeland Security Investigators and the Luzerne County District Attorney's Office. When officials from Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton appear in front of the Hazleton Planning Board, they will have to talk with engineers about lighting improvements. The hospital has to present their final plan for the planning commissioners before the next step of remodeling of the hospital can be completed. Commissioners seek clarification about lighting in the hospital's final plan to expand the emergency department. Now, commission members authorize RJD Engineering to send the hospital officials a list of items that they believe need further comment or clarification. The hospital plans to expand and increase the size of the emergency department from 10,000 square feet to just over 18,000 square feet, increasing the number of patient bays from 18 to 28 and adding 1,200 feet to the lobby. Officials will host a groundbreaking ceremony at the hospital on Monday, 12 noon in Hazleton. Luzerne County Elections Bureau, Luzerne County Elections Bureau, excuse me, requested an increase in expenditures for Luzerne County Council. Election Director Marissa Crispell addressed council about the need for increasing the budget at Wednesday's work session. The request for the increase of $148,000 would go towards personnel to bring the county's polling places up to compliance with the American with Disabilities Act. The Elections Bureau is also looking to spend money on advertising to educate voters on new voting machines. This is the first of a series of work sessions held by County Council before the 2019 budget is adopted on December 11th. Council travels to the Hazel Township Commons Building this Tuesday, October 23rd at 5 p.m. for a public hearing on next year's budget. Vice President Mike Pence is scheduled to visit Pennsylvania next week to show support for congressional Republican candidate John Schrinn. The VP will be in 44 at a campaign rally for Trin. Trin is running against Democratic Congressman Matt Cartwright in the November election. The rally will take place Wednesday afternoon, October 24th at the Wyoming Valley Airport in 44. Coming up on WYLN News, are you ready for winter? One state agency is getting ready for old man winter, plus jackpot grows even more. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on WYLN News. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim, ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Like it or not, winter is right around the corner. That means we will see snow plows out very soon. PennDOT outlined their plans for the winter season and highlighted some tools for all of us to use throughout the winter. WYLN's Julie Stefanovich has all the details.
State Department of Transportation Secretary Leslie Richards said PennDOT workers are working to make sure everything is in line for this winter season. Our PennDOT team has a big challenge every winter. We maintain enough snow lane miles to circle the globe nearly four times, and we're responsible for about the same number of miles as New York, New Jersey, and New England combined. She reminds everyone to be prepared for the season and start now for getting your vehicles ready. We want everybody to be prepared. Our team's prepared, but those traveling also need to be prepared. Make sure you have snow tires, or at a minimum, at least all season tires. Have your vehicle checked and pack an emergency kit. We hope you don't need it, but just in case, it's good to have. The secretary said PennDOT is looking to hire more than 500 seasonal workers to get more trucks on the road. Every winter, we look to fill hundreds of temporary winter positions. These include equipment operators, mechanics, welders, clerks, as well as other jobs. Please visit employment.pa.gov to apply. The state all season long share information about winter services and resources on their website and on their mobile app. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. A bill that State Senator John Udichank sponsored is heading to the Senate floor to be voted on. The lead testing bill passed the Senate Health and Human Services Committee unanimously. The bill would provide for universal lead testing for children and expectant mothers and require the state's health, health insurance to cover the testing. The Pennsylvania Department of Health would also re be required to develop a statewide electronic confidential registry system for tested patients. It's important that we advance Senate Bill 1270, which would require uh, blood tests for lead poisoning in children uh, between the ages of 9 months and 24 months and in pregnant women. The reason it's important is a serious public health risk to children and pregnant women who are exposed to lead, whether that's lead paint or lead in our water system. There are irreversible health complications that can happen from exposure to lead. We want to eliminate lead poisoning in Pennsylvania. I'm proud to work with Senator Lisa Baker, who is the chair uh, of the Health and Human Services Committee. We got the bill out of committee uh, unanimously, Republican and Democrat, good bipartisan bill that is going to protect the safety of our children, protect the safety of pregnant women all across Pennsylvania. Lead testing is not mandatory for children in Pennsylvania, and there is no dedicated state funding for lead testing or remediation in Pennsylvania. The bill came out of a lead task force, an advisory committee that was formed last year. Create a statewide task force, put experts uh, 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 at the table to make sure that we continue to get new recommendations on how best to remediate lead, how best that we can test. Uh, and we've had several public hearings across Pennsylvania. This is one of the recommendations that came from pediatricians. Uh, we're listening to the scientists, to the doctors, listening to those healthcare professionals that understand uh, lead poisoning and understand how best we can combat it. The bill will now head to the Senate floor when they reconvene next year. Republican leaders of Pennsylvania State Senate say they'll await a counteroffer on legislation to respond to a landmark grand jury report accusing hundreds of Roman Catholic priests of sexually abusing children over decades. The chamber's top Republican, Joe Scarnetti, said late Wednesday he pulled a vote on a bill because he knew the House would reject it. Senate Republicans say they're being unfairly criticized for opposing a provision recommendation by the grand jury and backed by Governor Tom Wolf. It would give adult victims a two-year preview from the t time limit in state law. But Senate Republicans say the lawsuit would hurt beneficiaries of church charities and say they'd sought a, comp a compromise that includes church-created comp compensation funds with more limit on payout. Pennsylvania's governor plans to sign a bill that would end the practice of suspending driver's license for those convicted of drug-related and unrelated to driving offenses. The House on Wednesday made the final vote to send the legislation to Governor Tom Wolf, who supports it. The bill also applies to several crimes involving children, including purchasing, purchasing tobacco. It also ends license suspension for carrying a false identification and making terroristic threats against school property. A House legislation document says that the State Transportation Department handles about 33,000 such license suspensions 
annually. A reminder to those that want to cast their ballot in the November election, but maybe away from their polling place, absentee ballots are available now and now through October 30th, and it's the last day that you can apply for them. The last day election officials can receive those ballots are November 2nd. Check with your local election bureau for hours where, where you can or you can visit online at vote.gov. Also, a reminder from the Luzerne County Board of Election that they approved voting site changes in Butler Township. The new polling sites in Butler Township are District 1 will vote in the Community Center Meeting Room. Districts 2 and 3 will vote at District Council 21 Painters Union Hall located at 66 Azalea Drive and Drums. And District 4 will vote in the Township's Community Center Gymnasium. The jackpot for the Powerball? just went up to $430 million. That comes after no one had the complete winning ticket Wednesday. Now the next drawing is Saturday, and also a big reminder that Mega Millions drawing, that keeps climbing. So make sure you head out and get your Powerball and Mega Million tickets, because maybe you don't have to go to work the next day. Coming up on Gilberton's News Choice, we take a trip to Hillside SPCA and Community and You. Plus, a number of chamber representatives from throughout the state were in our area. We'll tell you why ahead. But stay with us. More is headed your way right after this. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Matt Cartwright is one slick-talking liberal All lawyer. Right, here's the truth. But fact is, Cartwright voted for sanctuary cities three times. These are the votes. And Cartwright didn't pay taxes on his D.C. home until he was caught and fined. He votes with Nancy Pelosi 96% of the time, supporting higher taxes and more welfare. Matt Cartwright's a slick-talking liberal lawyer who represents the radical left, not us. I'm John Shrin, and I approve this message. Hi, I had a very minor uh, fender bender tonight in an unreasonably narrow fast food drive through lane. Don't worry, I have everything handled. I already spoke to our Allstate agent, and I know that we have accident forgiveness, which is so smart on your guys' part. Like the fact that they'll Four just- Four weeks without the car. Okay, yep, good night. With accident forgiveness, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street or in hometown in the hometown village square. Bad weather. Um, hanging out there in the distance, um, keeping your pets safe. It's always advised to have a pet emergency kit on hand. That would be food, extra medications, pet information um, about your pet, shot records, things like that. Um, identification on your animal is important as well. Microchips are great, however, they might end up at a place that doesn't have a microchip scanner. So. Um, I had just seen somebody on the internet uh, suggest writing the information, the dog's name and a phone number in um, marker on their bellies, you know, so that it's, it's obvious. Ideally, you want to be prepared. You want to make sure that you have something to take your animal with you. Um, again, the emergency kit, not only for your family, but for a pet as well. It's hard in a, in a flash flood situation, but if you're prepared, you can do it. Um, so many animals get lost. Please don't ever, ever leave an animal behind. Please don't do that. That is one of the cruelest things I think that you can do. Before you grab your suitcase, grab your animal. Um, you know, bottom line, it, it's imagine being left behind when there's chaos going on all around you and you don't have your people. Um, 
So again, being prepared is will alleviate that. Know where you're going in an emergency situation, have your emergency kits prepared, and you won't ever have to have a problem with your animals. So that's, you know, that's, that's important. I think the airlines have specific, when you're traveling with your pets on airlines, I think they have specific requirements which I'm not aware of. Um, I know smaller dogs can go under the seat. Um, other dogs have to be transported in the cargo area. Uh, make sure when you're making your arrangements that you they have safety measurements in, in place for your animals that will be traveling like that. Um, if you're not taking your animal with you, Please make sure that you let them or leave them with a reputable person who's going to make sure that they do not escape while you are away. We have that happen so often and it's, it's detrimental to trying to get a dog that's in an unfamiliar area. So you want to make sure, you know, leaving it with a neighbor or unless they're extremely trustworthy, you know, kennels are best. Yeah, they're secure. Not to say that they can't escape from there as well, but knowing your dog and sharing the information about your dog with wherever your dog is staying is important. Um, leashes are invaluable. Whoever's taking your dog needs to take, keep your dog always on a leash when you're not around. Um, it's just really, really important to make sure that you have them with someone that is responsible and can handle and deal with your animals so your animals stay safe. And that's, you know, that's, that's an important part of travel as well. If they're not going with you, you want to make sure that they're safe where they're at. Express Care. Walk in and you walk into the region's most trusted health network. This autumn, you can fall into savings at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Get fabulous fall savings during the Jeep Adventure Days. Returning lessees can lease a new Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited for just $2.99 a month. Or lease a new Jeep Cherokee Latitude Plus 4x4 for just $1.89. And get 0% financing on select models. Whatever adventure you enjoy, we can get you there in a Jeep at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Or online at allamericanjeep.net. John's Family Restaurant in the Churchill Mall. Enjoy a full menu with all homemade food. From breakfast, soups, sandwiches, entrees, and desserts. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner specials. The food is great. The price is right. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wilkes Tree Farm in Sugarloaf has been providing the area with the highest quality trees for over 20 years with a wide variety of shade and evergreen trees. Wholesale, retail, and choose and cut options. Call them at 570-401-8267. The Pennsylvania Association of Chamber Professionals continued its annual Chamber Professionals and Leadership Conference at Mountain Valley Banquet Venue in Barnesville today. Chamber professionals from across the state came together to share practices, professional development, leadership, and training to improve all chamber businesses and nonprofit communities. Sponsoring, sponsors in attendance included vendors and professional development organizations of chambers and travel, and those offering certain products and leadership development. President and CEO of the Schuylkill County Chamber, Bob Carl. Collaborate and partner with uh, businesses that work with chambers, the better we can offer these kind of things to our business community. M many of us offer anywhere between 300 to 800 plus chamber members, their businesses and nonprofits, and we need to bring the best services and programs back to those members. Carl was excited to welcome attendees that represent over 80 chambers throughout the Commonwealth. We're just honored that they all came in. Uh, last night we toured them around Schuylkill County, we took them to the Yingling Brewery, uh, all those great things. We're just pleased to be able to be the host this year. 
The three-day event was hosted by the Schuylkill Chamber of Commerce for their anniversary year and runs through tomorrow, October 19th. Are you starting to feel the winter blues already? I know I am. Then you'll have to join Holy, F Holy Rosary Parish as they host a summer throwback festival this coming weekend. Everyone is invited to attend the festival on Saturday, October 20th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the church on South Poplar Street. The parish will be serving up some summer classics including hot dogs, hamburgers, potato cakes, and ooh, waffles and ice cream. Along with the food, there will be instant bingo, tricky trays, and a bake sale. Everything right up my alley. For more information on the event, you can contact the church at 570-454-6693. That does it for us here. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next on WYLN. away. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 25 minutes from Frackville, 26 minutes from Jim Thorpe, 28 minutes from Tamaqua, 20 minutes from Shavertown, and 28 minutes from Clark Summit. Barber Ford in Exeter and Hazleton. Online at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. Appliances are right over there, and this is part of our furniture department. Okay, but I'm looking for a mattress. Well, you've come to the right place. Grand Central is Northeast Pennsylvania's number one Sealy mattress dealer. We have Sealy mattress sets from only $199 and Stearns and Foster Queen sets from only $45 per month. We also have interest-free financing up to 60 months. And remember, delivery and takeaway are absolutely free. So we don't have to do anything? Not if you buy your Sealy mattress at Grand Central. It looks like I did find the right place to buy a Sealy mattress. Grand Central in Hazleton, the right place to buy a Sealy mattress. You've seen university advertising. A student like me pitching you the same old ideas. But I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna tell you what you can do with a Penn State degree. You can help anyone. Go anywhere. Create! And with 20 campuses to choose from, you'll always feel at home. Look, Penn State is amazing, but your best years are just beginning. Come find out! For yourself. It's cash for junkers. For four days only, you'll get a minimum of $3,000 for your trade towards the purchase of any new or pre-owned vehicle. No junkers, no worries. We'll give you $2,000 over Kelly Blue Book instant trade offer. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event happening October 17th through Saturday the 20th at the Laurel Mall. You can shop for new vehicles from our nine franchises Wednesday through Saturday. It's all happening at the Laurel Mall. This is the last chance of the year to see all 300-plus vehicles in one location. Don't miss this event. Blaze Alexander taking the deals the other guys won't. Cash for junkers. Hope to see you there.
watching Wilkes-Barre's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network.